Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. So today is actually uh, the next day on from the previous video which I just recorded with the spider crab. Um, I have just given Craig a call from yesterday which I mentioned in the end of the last video um, and he's going to take me out on his boat today and we're going to launch that from Solcombe at about three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so I've got about four hours to kill now and I need to have some lunch. Uh, so I think my plan is I'm probably going to head to a beach somewhere or just have a mooch around, drive around um, and enjoy the sort of the local area for a few hours. Kill some time before um, before we're ready to go back out on the water. So I will catch up with you in a bit. So it's just started raining um, and I've just finished, well I've just finished making lunch. I'm not going to put it on a plate, it can't be asked, too much washing up. Um, but I don't know if the rain is going to cancel the boat trip or not. So I'm going to eat this, pack up anyway, um, give the guy a call and see if it's still on. Because I don't know if going out um, on a boat in the rain is going to be much fun at all. So. So after diving around for a while and not seeing anything but wrasse and small spider crabs we decided to change locations slightly as Craig had seen some mullet and on my way over to the spot I saw the weirdest fish I'd ever seen. As I got closer I realised it was what's called a lump sucker and I decided I had to take this back to the boat to show the others. You're breaking my heart. I'll bring it over. Every time you're coming through, you pull me apart. On the way back, I was just admiring this fish. I've never seen something quite so peculiar in UK waters. And we'll hit the mall. They just swim about one bar out. You just catch them. We can have something tragic. Weirdest thing ever. We're the star. After a few photos, we decided to let the little fella go. No luck with me, um, I saw that lump sucker which was really cool, never seen one of those before, so that was awesome. Um, I got a little bit of sinus trouble towards the end. And 
cut this video here or whether I'll head back and uh, do something else but for now I will catch you in a bit. So finally back on dry land, absolutely amazing day. When the sun came in the evening, it was glorious. Um, Craig has kindly um, given me one of his mullet, uh, so I'm gonna probably gonna cook that tomorrow. I can't be asked to do it tonight. Too tired, too late, uh, too much effort, so I'm gonna gut it, probably take it down, wash it. We'll have it tomorrow. But right now, I am gagging to get out of this wetsuit. So you join us now on the day after the boat trip. Got the mullet here. Got the barbecue there, and we're gonna do a little catch and cook with the mullet. Bit of butter, bit of mixed herbs, pepper, salt, lemon, the usual, uh, but on a barbie in this glorious evening. So let's do that. Do you know what I'm getting from that? Do you know what it tastes really similar to? The mackerel that we had last year. Really? Yeah. Do you know what I'm getting from Mate, there's another fork, there's one here. Oh! That is why we do this. That is it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, be sure to like, comment and subscribe for plenty more related content like this coming in the spring and summer. Also, big thanks to Craig and the lads for taking me out on the boat. They didn't have to do that, but that was really generous of them, so, uh, so huge thanks there. Um, but that is it for this video guys, and as always, I will catch you in the next one. Oh,